Hi, I'm Sean Smith. This is Sean Smith Photos, where I edit street photography and occasional travel photos in On One Photo Raw. So today I am going to do another video in my ongoing series, Read the Manual. And we're going to read three bits about the manual this time. It's Quick Slideshow, Clipping Mask, and Focus Mask. Let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is quick slideshow, which is a, a, a pretty new feature to me. And as you can see in the screenshot of, from the manual, it says you can create on the fly full screen slideshows to display groups of photos inside browse. Select a group of photos, choose quick slide from the Windows menu, and then the slideshow will loop until you stop by hitting the escape key. All right, so let's do that. Uh, I've got four photos here. I select them, I go to Window, Quick Slideshow, start the slideshow. Jumps up to full screen, can't see anything else. Great way to preview your photos with no distraction. And you can see it's going relatively fast through the selection. So we can adjust that. Let's stop by hitting Escape. And then we'll go into Window, Quick Slideshow, and here we can change the speed. So we can change it to 5, 10 seconds, or manual. And we can draw, uh, adjust the transition from fade to none. So I, I'm going to just change this to manual. And there's a hotkey for this. And in Windows, it's Alt, Shift, and F. And in Mac, it's Command. Control and F. So if I hit Alt, Shift and F, it opens it up. And because I changed the setting to manual, it's not going to advance. So I'll hit the right arrow key, hit the right arrow key. I can hit the left arrow key and it goes back and I can escape out. So this is a really handy way to look at your shots in a clutter-free or distraction-free uh, mode. Perhaps you're out in the field and you want to preview some of the shots with a client. Now you don't need to look at the on one interface or all the clutter on your desk, uh, laptop. You can just open it up and quickly show them what they've got. So this is a slideshow that's only inside on one. It does not give you the option to export as a slideshow that you could share somewhere else. You'd need other software for that, okay? So I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna reset this to uh, three seconds because if I use this in the future, I, I just want the, the default. Now, the second option that we're gonna look at here is the clipping mask. And this is something that I regularly talk about when I'm editing shots, but I wanted to bring it up specifically here. So we'll select to, from the manual, let's read the screenshot. Uh, to display clipping overlay temporarily, press the J key. And to turn it on permanently, choose view show clipping or press alt and J or option and J on your keyboard. So view, oh, what was that one? That was a view, uh, show clipping right here, off. Okay, so that does a great job there. And when it's permanently on, when I switch to another shot, I can see the clipping on the other shot as well. So. In this shot, we've got white clipping, which is shows in the red, and some blacks in the blue. And this is really handy if I display the editing controls again. We'll switch to edit mode, because now I can play around with the sliders to fix the clipping, as it were. So maybe I want to pull back on the whites, Maybe pull back on the highlights a little bit. And that's not really working that much. But you can see pulling back on the whites and the highlights has somehow reduced the black clipping. And 
we can go in here, we can do take a look at this in the effects module and I'm going to hit Alt and J again and maybe I'm going to play with the curves and I'm going to pull down the highlights and now there's no clipping. So that is clipping. We J will just briefly show it and Alt and J will keep it on screen for you. So I'm going to hit the F key so we're back in film strip mode and we'll go on to the third option here which is the focus mask and this is something I didn't know existed until I opened up the manual and went through and read it and we can see here it says to turn on the focus mask choose view show focus mask or press shift alt uh, shift and alt or option J the sharpest areas in your image will be represented by a bright green overlay. So th this will be really helpful uh, if you're quickly going through a photo shoot and you want to find the best shot, the one that's got the focus in the right area. Uh, and we can do this. We'll hit what was it? It was a view. Uh, show focus mask right here and we can see the green is on this one and if I switch shots each shot has the green in a different area Although I'm not sure why it disappeared from this one and we'll the focus mask on again and there we go okay so to the hotkey is alt shift j we turn it off and we can turn it on so uh, three really handy features to help you out as you're working around in on one photo raw uh, thank you for watching